2022 World Cup is getting interesting. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself. The biggest upset has been Saudi Arabia beating Argentina by two goals to one. That's not going to be our focus today on EF Forum. Well, Ghana is in the same group with Portugal, Uruguay, and South Korea. A number of songs have been released um, to, you know, support the Black Stars as we see whether or not we'll be able to... Um, yeah, say about the semi-finals, we'll say, and we every after first year. But there are a number of comments that have been passed after these songs were released. And this week, Samini was in the trends. That was because he said he described one of the songs or the songs as 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 work. I say you need the vinya. Now, mum, come born, you na e gana e e de vegia, come born, um, born you to say the moto dej. Anyway, um, Nasi has also released a song, and people are jamming to it. Today, we take a look at some of the songs that have been released as um, official Black Star songs for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. And so that's what we are here to do today on eForum on Ghana Web TV. My name is Benefo Boabin Abrantipa. <laughs> Big shouts to your mama, then your papa, them. I thank God, say them born you for me. I thank God, say them keep you for me. I thank God, say them raise you well. well. Big shouts to all of your exes. I thank God, say them leave you for me. I thank God, say them break your heart. I thank God, say them damn you girl. You know the everyday way man they see the thing way. It get the value even as he they enhance so. I know be young if I see the kind of girl way. I like I no go fit to waste my time. Oh. What be the action? What be the move? Turn on your Bluetooth. Make with the groove. Girl, you say what's up? Give me attention. I know the form love, but I want to spoil ya. What be the action? What be the mood? Turn on your Bluetooth. Make with the groove. Girl, you say what's up? Give me attention. Give me your love. Hey, you be my African goddess. Hey, me who are oh my goodness. Mm, I want to chop you like fun. I say they didn't cry on a sunny day for Ghana. Yeah, yeah, you be my African goddess. Hey, me who are oh my goodness. I want to chop it like fun nice and I didn't cry on a sunny day for Ghana. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girl, you got my heart on lockdown. The kind of quarantine I they look for. Now you they make my heart be the ginger. And I feel like I'm a tetzeli ninja. You know, I know I'm go take you play. My power power for each and every day. Your bills on me. No worries, I go pay. I won't make you slay my African queen with a good, good body. No, be just the body, you are smart and funny. And I cannot deny these feelings. Deny these feelings. What be the action? What be the mood? Turn on your Bluetooth. Make with the groove. Girl, you say what's I'm going Give me attention. I'm going I know the love, but I want to spoil ya. What be the action? Hey. What be the mood? Hey. Turn on your Bluetooth. Uh -huh. Make with the groove. Hey. Girl, you say what's up? Hey. Give me attention, give okay. me your love. Uh -huh. Hey, you be my African goddess. Hey, hey. me who are oh my goodness. Hey. Mm, I want to chop you like fun nice and head in crown a sunny day for Ghana. Yeah, yeah, hey. you be my African goddess. Hey, me who are oh my goodness. Okay. Mm, I want to chop you like fun nice and head in crown a sunny day for Ghana. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Anyway, and so that's uh, Bakadabi doing this song for us on E Forum. Uh, don't mind me, this, this one I just tried to do something. I don't even know where the words came from. Uh, that's a beautiful piece, Bakadabri. It's been a long time. Yeah, um, been a minute, my guy. When, when was the last time we met? Probably sometime last year okay. or, or late uh, mm. two years ago, maybe. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Around that time, you you were working on your EP. 
Yeah, at the time I had the Busanga Nyabrantie mm -hmm. EP out already, mm -hmm. which had Magajia on it. Yeah. Um, this tune is the first single off of my upcoming EP. Okay. Which is called Hear Me Out. Hear Me Out. Yes. So what's the title of this one? This is African Goddess. African Goddess. Yes. African Goddess. Did you do it for a special person? No, this, to be honest, is one of those fictional writings. Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm -hmm. um, I think as an artist, there are some of the songs you write from a true place. Because maybe you have experienced something and you write about it. Mm -hmm. Or maybe people around you are experiencing things and you write about it. And then there is the fictional side to where it's not really a true story, but you are just being creative as an artist. This happens to be one of them. Mm. Yeah, and I, I, I love it. I, love I it. see. <laughs> how, how, how far has... No, okay, let me ask this way. What has the response been so far Yeah. Um, with this particular song, The African Goddess? Um, so far, it's been out for like a couple of weeks, if I'm right, probably six weeks now. Mm -hmm. And on Spotify, we have like... 20,000 plus streams and counting mm. and so it's it's actually moving pretty well and um, Basically in terms of numbers this song is doing better mm. than my previous projects mm. And I think it's because of the appeal it has um, It sounds more um, I don't know like it has a lot of pigeon mm -hmm. and then also um, the beat is also very modern sonically sounds you know hip yeah. to, to a lot of people mm. So, yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> I see. So, the, the EP, when is, when is it going to be ready? Is it out yet? Um, no, the EP is not out yet. We are hoping to release it. Um, if I'm estimating right, then hopefully early January, mm -hmm. the EP should be out. Yes. And um, if you did hear the previous project, Busanga mm Nyabrantie, -hmm. it was more intentionally written for the Ghanaian market, strictly the Ghanaian ma market. Mm. Um, however, this one is for Ghana and beyond and the rest of the world. This mm -hmm. is like world music because that's uh, the intention with this project. Okay. What did you say the title of the EP was again? Hear Me Out. Hear Me Out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what informed the decision to have that? I just, I just, so my manager asked me if I had any idea what the title of the EP should be. And I was like, I think it's about time already. People should hear me out, mm. you know, because I truly, truly do not consider myself as um, an artist who is now probably finding himself or, you know, I, I think deep down within me, I know I've been ready since, mm -hmm. except, you know, being ready is one thing and having access to the market, the platform is also another thing. So it's just from that place where I feel like I deserve to be heard. And so hear me out. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's the inspiration behind it. Romeo and uh, <laughs> Kui. Okay, so Romeo is an event organizer <laughs> and uh, he's also an artist manager and talent coach. Madina Social Welfare Assembly, man. Oh, yeah, last time you called, baby. I don't know whether I've told you. We went there and then the guy, so they, apparently he had been watching our shows. He says, ah, there's this guy who comes on your show. So when he described you, I said, okay. Uh, then I showed, you, I showed him your video. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he asked, who is he? Then I said, event organizer is okay. Artist man is okay. Then, you know, I didn't want to mention that you are... <laughs> When I'm saying, uh -huh. he sounds like a politician. Ah. <laughs> oh, no, Romeo, okay. thanks for joining us. And uh, Quay, Mercury Quay, no, um, some of my cats are all confusing me. Uh, David Quay is an event coordinator with Mercury Republic. So that's um, Bakadabri, Hear Me Out. Um, that's the EP which is yet to be released. But so far, what you have heard, what's your impression about his artistry i think when i entered the building and i had the beat and mm -hmm. i had someone riding on it i was nodding you know any good beat will move you yeah and then he didn't just end there when he entered and started doing the freestyle i realized the uniqueness in what he's doing it has that appeal it's sort of a template set for anyone to love it's not something you have to condition yourself to love but something that will come to you naturally. Mm. 
you know, when it's a good, good vibe, you don't struggle to sell it. And I think it's something that will push him far. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you do this song for women, you do it for success. Mm -hmm. Reason being that when the women love you, everyone will love your music. Mm -hmm. But I think what he should do is uh, his views are not too encouraging. Maybe he can adopt, and he's good also on the acoustic. So what I would advise is that he can hijack the weddings mm. or the executive programs and then uh, use the acoustic just like the likes of Abiana and co have done to be able to get some recognition because there are very good vibes, uh, uh, talent with good vibes around. But the platform for them to be marketed, for them to be accepted, mm -hmm. that has been the issue. For instance, if we had him on the rhythm on the runway, he wouldn't be a bad mm. uh, appearance on the show. You get it. So these are things we need to be pushing, and I applaud him for the great work he has done. The African Goddess, it's a nice tune. Thank you. Thank Queen. you. Um, I, 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 I agree um, with Romeo's viewpoint on the mm. song. I think it's a classic tune. And I mean, what, what excites me the more is the, the lyrics of the song. I think we all experience heartbreaks here and there, mm. and sometimes it's like a cycle. The person may not be good for you, but may be good for the other. So when you finally get that one girl that you are like, yo, I thank God that your yeah, ex you, actually you, left you, you, you and you are now with me. <laughs> <laughs> then you because also thank God that you, your ex left you. Yes, uh -huh. my ex also left me so that we can meet. Mm. So I think that what is very striking for me is, is, the, is the lyrics and, and also the, the instrumentation is also a vibe, you know, it just, it just moves you. I just mm. heard the song today while, you know, he came and I already got part of the, the lyrics. I was singing along during his performance. So I think that it's a catchy groove and anybody who hears this for the first time will just move along with mm. it. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. Nice one. Nice now that observation, one. Avanti, yeah. I think he should also do well. Uh, you know, most of these uh, TikTok girls, when Asantua made that comment that they make some songs popular, mm -hmm. she wasn't lying, but maybe that context wasn't as acceptable. You should be able to get some people hooked up on this TikTok thing with this song and then leverage on it to uh, widen or broaden his horizon to be able to get m more numbers. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good vibe. And then another thing too has to do with the fact that um, like I said about the wedding yeah. thing, mm -hmm. you know, you mentioned Edinkra, you mentioned Fan Eyes. If you could do some short skits with the, even if you're not the ready two, to shoot the two a video. Products. Yes, yeah, even the and then they should be the ones to push it because their products will be in there. Talk to mm -hmm. Edinkra, talk to yeah. Fan Eyes, and then Brilliant. I think you Brilliant. would have a go because it's yeah. a Ghanaian, a sort of, uh, it increased a Ghanaian brand. Household mm. products. And then, uh, yeah, exactly, fan eyes to be so mm -hmm. also here. So it would be a marketing tool for you yeah. to reach out. Even if, let's say, uh, they're shooting an ad, your song will be appropriate for. Yeah, yeah. So it's just mm -hmm. an observation. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you right. so much, guys. I appreciate this. <laughs> but uh, if, if, if your. How, how do we get your songs? Which um, um, digital platforms yes, are they? Um, everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. And my name is Baka, B-A-K-A, Dabri, D-A-B-R-I. Um, it's the same across all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one with that name. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it, once you, you get the spelling right, you should find me. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That's Baka Dabri, uh, gracing the show for us today on E-Forum. Um, during my intro, I told you we were going to talk about the Black Star song saying, so um, a number of musicians have released this. Mm -hmm. We have Coco Flick, we have Aquabua, um, there's been um, Ken Promise, Unapo Man uh, Nasi yes, has released his. Samini has released his, but Samini's is not just the Black Stars. It's the entire African continent, the representatives. He's saying that Africa win. But before Samini released that song, he had made certain comments on Twitter, and that actually engendered conversations 
uh, people, you know, it had it, it divided opinions. Some said he erred in what he, he tweeted. There were others who also supported him because they thought that some of the songs that have been released were not were not nice. So we take a quick break. When we return, we'll talk about the songs that have been released for the Black Stars as they partake in the 2022 FIFA World Cup that is ongoing in Qatar. Welcome back. You're still watching eForum on Ghana Web TV. My name is Abraham Tipa. I'm doing this with uh, Ambassador Romeo David Quay. And uh, Bakadabri is still sitting in uh, for the discussion on the songs, the World Cup songs. So you've heard quite a number of the songs. Before Samini released his, he actually uh, made a tweet and said, the new Blaster songs, though, do we have to learn it before the World Cup? Whoever chose it probably wrote it too. Hey, track Nenye Desano. Hmm. A few of us could have done a better job at that, Charlie, and I'm Mabel Dam. It comes with a um, laugh out loud. But Vim's still there for the boys. Go Ghana. And then, you know, people started talking about his tweet. And then Samini decided to release his, which is titled Win Africa Win. And Sani Ebe Yesu, yeah, Ebe Stati, and Nana since we're releasing it here. I say, yeah, the cap, no. Ghana. First off, let's begin with um, Samini's tweet, whether or not there was anything wrong with what Samini put out in the first place. It's not wrong on a, on a human face. Mm -hmm. But being an, art, being an artist and being within the creative space, you should leave that, such criticisms to those who are uh, used to it, mm -hmm. those whose job it is, because you are still within the space. And it's not okay to criticize people you will end up working with. You end up... Uh, featuring or they featuring you on a project mm -hmm. and then you come to condemn uh, some some work done by such people but the critique was based on the work it's it's not no attacking the individual but uh, in a professional manner uh, he's he's seen as a big brother to the, the cartel of young people mm. who has brought out a song okay. so he had that Power to call them behind the scenes and say, okay, ah, Let me read this other tweet. He says, I did Germany 2006, performed the official song at the closing ceremony at SA 2010. 2014 was Yawa, and 2018, we know fit go. Been there, uh, been there, done this, forget the hype. The morale of my statement beyond politics, typos and grammatical errors remain the fact that the track is whack, in my opinion. So that's um, Samini again. Th this was at a time that the people were bashing, uh, bashing him. Yeah, but it's, it's true. He deserved to be bashed because Charlie Abrantepa, you are, you are sort of seen as a godfather. Mm -hmm. If you see something that you think doesn't augur well, your business is to uh, talk, have sort of a tete-a-tete -a -tete discussion with whoever is involved, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or you just shut up and put out sort of a work mm -hmm. where people would be the judge of it. Could now, it be that it was because he wanted to release? That was why he just he a gimmick a dig at them. Just a gimmick to, to uh, let people know uh, that draw they're also about to release. And funny part. enough, what he just released, honestly speaking, is still uh, it's, it's still within the same space like the ones we've had already. Within oh, yeah, the yeah. ones he he, he criticized, mm. the best ones amongst them in terms of real jama for sort of uh, a tournament of this caliber is a nasty one and then a Grace Ashi song mm -hmm. and then you can talk about Talal Fatal so far. Mm -hmm. Like those are the songs that even years after years, people are being able to, to, to remember the lyrics. Mm -hmm. What Samini is saying, how many people will be able to he was talking about oh, it's simple. Win Africa win. Oh win Ghana, win oh, Africa win. My friend, my friend, let's be real. Uh, see you is it the Nasi own it, it injects a sort of, it injects in your adrenaline naturally. Mm. It pushes you, even if you don't know the words, you, 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 it drags you along. Mm. But this is like uh, the normal, uh, what do we call it, uh, this raga thing. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. And this is where I was expecting Shatawali to come in, because when it has to do with Jama, 
sometimes he does well. This this what I think. I think that over the period, right, we've been having conversations as to why the Nigerian industry, for instance, is more prosperous than our Ghanaian entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. And over the past few years, what has been the bane in our industry is the consistent, uh, should I say, fight mm -hmm. amongst the artists where this one is throwing shots at the other or the other one is throwing shots at the other or they are releasing these songs and what have you. So what is actually needed to propel themselves and then the entire industry to the front is lacking because of their seeming battle amongst mm -hmm. themselves. But what I, I, I believe that these our artists should be looking at is to be battling with those outside the scope of Ghana. Mm. So for a Samini to come out and, you know, run down another project by a fellow artist, I don't think it's, it's in the right direction. Now, like Mr. Romeo is saying, let the, the fans be the best judge. Mm. You, are, you, you are in the industry with a person, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. it, will, it, it will be so off that Abrantepa will wake up one morning and then after listening to um, Ivan Spencer on Joy FM or on Joy TV. He comes and does tweet that he hosts the show very poorly. Mm. It just doesn't work out. You, you need to allow the fans to do those kind of comments because you are an industry player. The little you can do is to support yourself to the next level. Mm. If you think that the song is actually work, release your own song. Let the people judge that it is work. Mm -hmm. That is what I think that he could have done. And the reason why maybe he was speaking the minds of a lot of people but when it comes from him it becomes problematic now the reason why i think that he was speaking the minds of a lot of people is that if you recall during sarkodie's um album before he launched this album he was on a radio tour at um, plaza fm three music network he made mention of the fact that his project is not targeted at the ghana market mm -hmm. and the reason why he believes so is that ghana seems to have the masses seems to just enjoy upbeat tracks so when you don't do songs that are upbeat, like people want to dance, then you are not going to get the masses on your side. Mm -hmm. They don't, they don't fall for the, you know, the love and the sweet things that you but want that, to that do. That thing, to some extent, I disagree. No, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, we all know how Sarko, not not to digress, but mm -hmm. we know how Sarko there began. Mm -hmm. Sarko there was doing typical like rap, mm -hmm. and the masses were feeling him around that time. It was even way, way back before Sarkozy had dropped Baby and You Go Kill Me. But you see, those, those, those songs those, that he was doing, they were not groovy. They were not... Those, those, uh, those rap songs used to have a beat. It's oh. not, it was not so... It was not like the Kiss My Hand and all those songs that we're having now. Mm. So to, to him, he feels that. And I think that that has been how the Ghanaian populace accepts the songs that are used to back the black stars. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Grace, Grace Ashi's song in 2014, it's upbeat, like, mm -hmm. yeah. When you hear, you, you are moving. When you listen to the Karen Nasi song, it, it just moves you. Mm -hmm. So when the song is not on that level, then it becomes problematic for the masses because they feel like, this song cannot even encourage me to even, mm -hmm. you know, root behind, root for the black stars. Mm -hmm. So that is perhaps... Uh, but the, you see, the... Hmm. The tempo bit, does it really matter? Because uh, Romeo mentioned um, Come On Blasters, Ghana. Mm -hmm. That song was not a fast tempo song. But because but it was early see, days, uh -huh. the early that, days that of uh, uh, Jama production, the first, the only English Jama that pushes you to be inspired. It tells a story, a black star story. It's, it doesn't have uh, so much noise in there, yes? Mm -hmm. But even with that, it was difficult for the fans to, uh, to use that in the stands. Mm -hmm. It's for the elitists. You get it. But the real jama is when you hear Obibakwe, uh, Faohu, to form. Like, it's, it's full of yeah. sort of so, uh, inspiration. So that's what I'm saying. That, that song was for a certain market. Mm -hmm. That's the elitists, like you said, they would really vibe to that. So when it comes to the grassroots people, like all of us on the ground, we we want the energy to be yeah, in the song. Yeah, but see, it's Yeah, as a Ghana <laughs> chair, hopefully, if Ghana is to, is to do what the magic that Saudi yeah. did against mm -hmm. Argentina, Nasi song, imagine just on the street, you know, mm. it made me the so Nasi tops off. Baka, um, which which of the songs do you gravitate towards the most? 
I'm in love with Narcisse on. Okay. Yes, and I think uh, then again, um, I like how we visited the old tunes, right? Mm -hmm. I remember that one was, it wasn't as upbeat, but I remember connecting so well to that song mm -hmm. at the time. But then also, I feel like the music taste, it evolves, mm -hmm. right? There was a time I, I wanted to be a rapper so bad, you understand? Um, but I just realized I didn't have the attitude for rap. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I didn't enjoy it very much. I enjoy singing, so I stuck to singing. But then fast forward to the songs for the Black Stars, I would say definitely Nasi's own. Um, until I heard Nasi's own, I would have settled for Samini's. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how how would you feel if your fellow artists describe your work as work? Oh, definitely. It will go enter you. Mm. It go enter you well, well. Me, it go enter me. However, um, I think the the manner in which i am giving the feedback would also matter mm -hmm. if you heard my work out there and you're a colleague artist and you felt like it was horrible and you just hit me up and you gave me your honest feedback as a colleague in the industry i would appreciate that i'll mm -hmm. feel like you are on my side you are with me so i would return the favor you know mm -hmm. when you know that time comes um however um if it's put out there like that. I think then it just becomes like a, a pulling down kind of culture, mm. right? And as for someone as legendary as Samini, whom I learned so much from, I would say that this one is probably you get agenda. Mm. You understand? Mm. If you get agenda, what you do? I'm that one there. Fine. You 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 put out there say you get agenda. Yeah. But if you know be say agenda we get and from where I stand I see it as some as agenda, agenda thing, you understand? Because mm -hmm. eventually you release something where the thing, you know, people are going to check it out and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's it's very intentional the way he went about it. I am sure that someone as 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 rational as Samini would have known better mm. that okay maybe I go feed here to this guy or privately then tell him, but it be their business. After, after it's, this it's show after, business, <laughs> after this whole thing, um, I've business. seen I've seen a tweet from Ken Promise yeah. saying idols become um, rivals, rivals, even yeah. though he doesn't add any. He doesn't tag anyone. Yeah, he doesn't mention anyone. But, we know. but some yes. say that yeah. that tweet is actually. A reaction to what Samini yeah. Samini um, said. Do, do you think it is? Of course it is. Come it on, could you could it could uh, it's, it's a it's 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 a well uh, uh, tailored or measured dress mm. thrown to suit Samini, and we all know it's Samini because um, he happens to be Samini's boy. Sort of, he looks up to him, mm -hmm. and then if you put him within that bracket of workism. Then he would also obviously come at you and but touch it. But Samini Street, I, I'm, I stand to be corrected. Samini Street was not directed at Ken Promise. I think he made a general statement. And then within that space, some few guys, uh, he can promise. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Koku Flake. Koku Flake. Yes, Akwabwa. Akwabwa. There is one that comes from a band. I've forgotten the name of the band. The, the title of the is song is Kentos, Osi. Is it Kentos yeah. Band? Yeah, yeah. The title Kentos of the song band, is yeah. Osi. So if Samini makes a generic statement, why should you... He could have also made exceptions if clearly he didn't want to include mm. Asi Messi. Mm. Yeah, but I feel like some tweets they were uh, mentioned say mention, Koku Flake. Uh, Koku Flake. Yeah, he, he said Koku Flake. Yeah, he stamp him. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I just say, the song will be official. Uh -huh. It will be like... <laughs> so which one uh, is so official? As, if Actually, I, I don't know. Exactly. Can promise, I can promise this title has the <laughs> official song. Right. So um, we will be wrapping up soon. But do we expect any any new song? And Nasi said the moon is much I think I think Nasi draws curtains on all these. And if he gets to the worst, I would expect sort of a remix from Nasi and Grace Ashi to just top it all because Nasi is sort of. A virtuoso, when he, prima donna of real music, mm -hmm. he fits in everywhere. Like so, if we're looking for that jama, even the gospel jama, come mm -hmm. on, you you feel nasi. Mm -hmm. So if Grace Ashi uh, is one of those few women who within this space have really come to the party, I don't expect her to be pushed aside. So mm -hmm. I'm expecting sort of a refix from Grace Ashi and Nasi, yeah, and then that will be a blast. It, it, mm -hmm. Even when she has, on a number of occasions, said the FA has not 
uh, I mean, what he expected from the Treated FA. Away, yeah. yes. Exactly. That's where I'm coming from. If, if you're having a refix, it means that there are discussions. Mm -hmm. There are uh, uh, discussions underway to appease her mm -hmm. or to make it up to her mm -hmm. because it, it's sort of a nationalistic approach mm -hmm. and something to support a cause of a national interest. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it would be so unfair. Within that, this big space, we have a lot of male, uh, male dominating this space and mm -hmm. a, a single woman who has anchored this space so nice for over years and you can't just let her go like that. Any new GFA president will want to drag her closer and appease her. Okay, right. So we, we are going your final words and then... Yes, I'm, I just remembered. Your event. You have an event uh, yes. this weekend. Uh -huh. I nearly I, forgot. Yeah, I forgot. So may, maybe you should do that and tie it in with your final words. Then yes. I, uh, we go. Yes. So um, on Saturday, 27th of November, this coming Saturday, we're having the coffee timeout session at the uh, Vidai Cafe inside East Ligon. Now, what the coffee timeout session is basically about is a networking event that is meant to provide a platform for young people to connect with peace sitters, people who have, you know, done so well in the society, they have a story to tell, they have, they, they've, they've reached a certain pedestal that can be of great influence and, and help in building the next generation of young people. So we're bringing these people together to come and interact and connect with young people at Vidai Cafe in Sa East Legon. Now, what we have identified is that a lot of young people, um, when it comes to networking, people have not really understood what the purpose of networking is. And in fact, the kind of networking that we do, it's, it is quite problematic because you go for an event and you see, for instance, um, one of the big guns that you want to connect with. But these people are so busy that they will give you their card. After the event, you call and you never get them. So we have identified that that is a problem. So what we want to do is bring these people together in a semi-official manner on a round table where you get to face-to-face -face interact with them. So we do a round table discussion. After you interact with this person, you get the opportunity to interact with the next person. We just keep shuffling the people who are on the bill so that you get to um, hear their story and also connect with them and connect with fellow young people who are achieving great stuff in, in their respective field. So this year, we are lucky to have on board um, Ochiame Kwame, who's one of the biggest guns when it comes to the music industry in Ghana. Uh, he will be joining us at Vidai Cafe on Saturday. We also have Akusia Menu, who is the deputy um, national, the deputy CEO of the National Youth Authority. And we also have Kobi Chemensa, who is a blogger and a philanthropist, one of the biggest names when it comes to blogging in Ghana. So that's going to be happening mm. on Saturday. If you need any information on registration, you can contact me on 024-166-4181. 024-166-4181. Okay, so that's it. Uh, <laughs> David Quay, David Quay is with uh, Mercury Republic. Uh, Romeo, let me get your final words before we go for vote. I think this World Cup, um, we're looking so much forward to some success story from the African perspective. Mm -hmm. And that the weather uh, should be an advantage to the African country. So far, two African countries have drawn. Just uh, the, the real beacon of hope of Africa being Senegal actually lost. But Black Stars, honestly speaking, despite the hula balloons surrounding the team, when people least expect the team to perform, that's where they come to the party. Mm -hmm. So I expect them to defy all odds and make the grade. Baka Dabri. Hello. Mm -hmm. You know, football will be my, my area plenty. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> close, my closing words there. I'm glad to be here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to have shared, uh, you know, this platform with great people such as yourself. My name again remains Bakadabri. Um, kindly check me out everywhere and hopefully you enjoy my music. I hope to win everyone as a fan. Eventually. Okay, right. Thanks for coming. Uh, quickly before we go, um, like I've been saying, a lot of things happen in this um, small country of ours. Eh? Yes, Accra, things they go on. Events happening every weekend here and there. And so whenever there are events, we too, we they go there. Then we they capture things. Then we go package them. Then we go make you see what's up. That the things that went on, you know, we have everything packaged in Vogue. And so let's join Doreen Abanima Abaya as she comes our way with Vogue.
months of publicity to build anticipation, Pacey's Esther's 20th anniversary concert came off at the Accra International Conference Center on November 6, 2022. Tell you what, the auditorium was filled to capacity as lovers of music thronged the venue to witness the epic occasion. Gospel artists and Sopoku brother Same, Obapa Christi, Celestine Donko, Otego Sisters, Moses O.K. and Kofi Sapong, among others, mounted the stage to perform and it was mwah! Would climax the show, she does so with a dramatic entry from zero to hero, and that's exactly what her latest single, Wayami Year, is all about. <laughs>
wasn't sure what was. Congratulations to Pacia Esther and her team. Indeed, it is not easy to stay relevant in a male-dominated industry for two decades. We look forward to seeing more of such events. Time to say goodbye to you, my dear viewer. I am your girl, Doreen Abanama Abaya. Thanks, Doreen, for the segment, Vogue, and congratulations to PSA Esther. Uh, 20 years in the industry, it's not, it's not easy. And uh, your new song is also doing, doing so, so well. That was um, a good show. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, keep on watching Ghana Web TV. Visit our website, www.ghanaweb.com, for more stories, for more videos, uh, programs. A uh, reminder that the Ghana Web Mundial is still ongoing, where we have our sports people come your way with analysis of everything that's happening in the World Cup, behind the scenes, what's happening in the camps of the Black Stars, in the camps of the Senegalese, and you know, the, the European countries and all the Middle East countries. And so join our team every Monday and Friday as they come your way with the Ghana Web Mundial. Thank you for watching this episode of eForum on Ghana Web TV. My name is Benefo Boabin. But before I go, let me remind you that this is our last but one show, yeah, for the year. The final one will be a wrap. And so uh, watch out for that one somewhere in December. We'll give you a wrap of, of the year. Until you say the year could break. Now, Yakob final show. No? And then we'll go for a break and we'll return in February. Yes, you have to do Christmas. So thank you. Thank you for being with us. And of course, we have a lot of events, lots of um, programs, and then quality, relevant, compelling content for you on our website. The Ghana Web Excellence Awards is ongoing. Voting has begun. And so visit the website and vote for your favorite nominee. Uh, check out the list of nominees on the website. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Benefo Boabin Abrantipa. <laughs>